We've introduced that an alkene reacting with a peroxy acid will result in epoxide. Now it's time for us to analyze the products. In the last video, we saw how the stereochemistry of the reacting alkene is maintained throughout the reaction with MCPBA. Moving forward, we'll highlight how the chirality of the epoxide product is strictly dependent on the reacting alkene. Epoxidation with MCPBA usually results in the formation of a pair of enantiomers since the peroxy acid can react with either face of the reacting alkene. Let's examine three examples and determine the chirality of the products formed. First, let's start off with a trans alkene. These reactions will always result in a pair of enantiomers. Since the spatial arrangement of the groups will be flipped depending on the face the peroxy acid reacts with the alkene. Next, unsymmetrical cis alkenes. These reactions will also always result in a pair of enantiomers since the molecule lacks an internal mirror plane of symmetry. Whereas the last example we're going to look at is the reaction of symmetrical alkenes. The gears should slowly start turning now, but since the alkene is symmetrical, the resulting epoxide product is also symmetrical, containing an internal mirror plane of symmetry, a factor we didn't have when considering the previous two conditions. In summary, what this means is no matter the face the peroxy acid reacts with the alkene on, the product is the same. Only one unique molecule is made throughout this reaction, and it's a 